breaking, pro-Soros group makes horrifying Trump threat. It appears that another progressive, Soros-funded group is doing their best to destabilize this nation. We will gather in the streets and public squares of cities and towns across this country, at first many thousands declaring that this whole regime is illegitimate and that we will not stop until our single demand is met, this nightmare must end, the Trump, Pence regime must go. Threatened refuse fascism, one far-left group. Our protest must grow day after day and night after night, thousands becoming hundreds of thousands, and then millions determined to act to put a stop to the grave danger that the Trump, Pence regime poses to the world by demanding that this whole regime be removed from power. In the wake of recent far-left groups such as Black Lives Matter and Antifa, refuse fascism seems to be another group clamoring for the removal of the Trump administration from office, regarding the current presidency as a regime and a nightmare that must go. These comments are regarding a massive protest the group plans on organizing on November 4, 2017. They hope their activism will help create a situation where this illegitimate regime is removed from power. Despite the fact that Trump won in an election in a free country, the group still insists that his presidency is somehow invalid. The group's actions aren't at all new. According to Briet Bart, Refuse Fascism was allegedly one of the far-left groups behind the infamous Berkeley riot. The group had also received a $50,000 donation from another organization, the Alliance for Global Justice FGJ, which has its own history of funding far-left causes. Refuse Fascism described the Berkeley riot as righteous, encouraging more riots in the future against conservative speakers and events. Last night, thousands of students Professors and others protested the appearance and organizing rally of Milo Yiannopoulos, a major fascist operative, shutting it down. This was righteous and much more like this is needed, said the group. Let's be clear, Milo Yiannopoulos is not engaging in free speech. He is consciously spearheading the Nazification of the American University, the group added. The Alliance for Global Justice was supposedly listed online as a financial contributor to refuse fascism for the riot. It's not clear whether the rioters were paid directly. FGJ received a little over $2 million in funding in the 2016 fiscal year, the largest amount coming from the Tides Foundation, which is a non profit funded by George Soros. Concerning the Tides Foundation, which helped fund refuse fascism, it turns out that this is the same group that was caught and investigated by the Canada Revenue Agency years ago when it was branded a foreign-funded radical group. Standing accused of operating as a clearinghouse for foreign donors that want to donate to political causes but don't have a Canadian charitable status, the group was called out by many in the government at the time. One minister implied that they engaged in money laundering for liberal causes, according to the Globe and Mail. It's no surprise that so many of these far-left, anti-Trump groups are able to form when they have wealthy backers such as Soros. Raising public awareness is the best solution to stopping these efforts.